quick dev tip. A pretty useful thing to know about is being able to split pins. So this is good for keeping things clean and is generally just pretty useful. Here, example, I'm gonna get actor location. Actor location returns a vector. Now a vector is made up of three floats. So this is normally how you'd see it. Somebody would do a break to get the split. You would then probably, in this example, you'd make it again, set actor location. So somebody might do this, so they might break current location and then add one to it, say, for example. Interesting thing here is that these are kind of redundant. You don't actually need to have these guys if you do this technique. So what I will do is disconnect these guys. You can right click, split, and I'll do the same with this guy because this guy is also a vector, split. And then I can just feed directly across these two. I'll take my plus node and add that in here making these nodes completely useless so I can get rid of them. And that's a far cleaner way of doing it. So this works on anything that's got stuff inside it, if that makes sense. So uh, vectors, rotators, example here, rotator, split, split pin. And now you can access roll, pitch, and yaw. You can also recombine these, so recombine. But if you notice, I can't actually do that on this one because stuff is plugged in. But if I disconnect these guys, I can recombine. You can split stuff that you've split as well. So example here is I've got a strut that I made. I can split my strut to get this, and then I can split again because this is a linear color structure. Split, boom. I generally won't do this too much because this gets a bit confusing. What I would probably do in this case is use a break so that then I could draw this towards whatever I'm using it for, some sort of UI event or something.